officers like Zeta's son, Henry Kissinger, half free, Panto Prince on a couple of occasions, and Coombe Hill a couple of years ago. The weights are headed today by Marla at 4 to 1, Chris Maud riding. Alice Obey, they're the non runner. The Grey, Teton Mill at 7 to 2, ridden by Norman Williamson. Gower Slave at 11 to 1, Barry Fenton in the saddle. Menasonic is the mount of Andrew Thornton, number 5, Menasonic. The 11 to 4 favourite, and Andrew putting up three pounds overweight at 10 stone three. Alan Moore at 4 to 1, Paul Holly. Stan Moore at 12 to 1, Dean Gallagher, and Joel Tara. And uh, I think the unfortunate Rupert Wackley claiming three pounds. Way then for the Badger Beer handicap chase. They've got 21 fences to take. Teep Mill the Grey towards the inside. Gower Slave is right up there early with Alan Moore, the course specialist. And then uh, Joel Tara, who's got a big white face as they take the first Menasonic up there. And uh, the rider, Barry Fenton on Gower Slave, just forced to wave to his granny, jumping the first fence. Had to take one hand off the reins. Over the second, Gower Slave, Menasonic, and then Anna Moore between them. Joel Tara, the inside, and Marla, big horse towards the outside. Tim Mill and Stan Moore, the last two, as they take the third, and they've gone off pretty quick as they pass the enclosures with two circuits to go and it's Gower Slave who takes them along from Alamore in second and Menasonic his stable companion upsize there Menasonic and Andrew Thornton see how long Andrew rides much longer than most of the other riders some of the old school would certainly be in favor of that as they run along the side of the course on towards the water jump Gower Slave Alan Moore, Joel Tara, the inside, Menasonic, then Marla, Teton Mill, and Stan Moore has now dropped to last place. A right-hander into the back straight, and on towards fence number five. Plane one, the sequence in the back straight, plane fence, open ditch, plane, and then another ditch. And Gower Slave in front from Alan Moore. Just got in too close, the leader there, Gower Slave. To pop over, hobble over almost. Alan Moore, Joltara towards the inside. Rupert Wackley's lost his cap. He's lost 10 days of, of work as well earlier today. Menasonic towards the outside. Marla, Teton Mill towards the inside as they take the open ditch. Alan Moore was very deliberate there. The back marker remains Stan Moore. On towards fence number seven. And still Gower Slave, this uh, prolific winner during the summer. He leads over the next from Joltara. A slight mistake by Alan Moore. Should know his way round here. He's uh, won here three times, but he's uh, jumping's letting, letting him down at the moment. Menasonic very well placed towards the outside as they take the next. And still the leader, Gower Slave, from Joel Tara. Menasonic in third. Teton Mill left a picture of the big grey. And then towards the outside of Teton Mill is uh, the sloppy jumping Alan Moore. Right round horses now looming up on the outside of Menasonic. Right a picture is the monster of an animal, Marla. He is a monster too, absolutely huge. And Stan Moore is the back marker. Down the hill then, on the side of the course. And this is a slight drop on the landing side here. And it was Gower Slave with Marla now jumping his way into second place from Menasonic next. And then Joltara towards the inner. Back then to Alan Moore, Teton Mill going the shortest way round under Norman Williamson, and finally Stan Moore. Back down the straight again as they pass the starter and on towards the next plane fence. Number 10 of the 21, and it's Gower Slave from Marla in the pink cap. Alan Moore, the white sleeve jacket, the inside, the uh, helmet on Joltara. And then Menasonic, the dark sleeves towards the outside, the grey Teton Mill, and finally Stan Moore. Another plain one. They'll be really going for it this time round in a circuit's time. Great jump by the leader, Gower Slave. Took it in fine fashion. Lands a length and a half ahead of Alan Moore. Then Marla towards the outside, Joel Tara. Menasonic is wide. Then Teton Mill and finally Stan Moore. And they're very well grouped indeed with a circuit left to cover. Only four or five lengths between first and last place in this, the 37th running of the Badger Beer handicap chase. And it's Gower Slave by a length and a half to Alan Moore in second. Then the top weight, Marla in third. Joltara, Menasonic, who's going roundhouses all the way. 
followed by Teton Mill and finally Stanmore. The water jump for the final time, fence number 13. Gower Slave took it in front. They all land safely, Stanmore being niggled along towards the back. And so is Menasonic, who's lost his position, Menasonic, as Teton Mill improves eye-catchingly towards the inside. Reminders now for Marla there. And now running down the back, the tap being turned on, and it's Alan Moore that takes a turn in front, though he didn't jump too well again there from Gower Slave. Teton Mill the inside, Joel Tara was on the inner, and it's now been switched out wide by Rupert Wackley. And the leading four have got uh, well clear now from Menasonic Stanmore and Marla, who's uh, dropped very disappointingly away and is last now, Marla. So continuing down the, the back straight, and four horses appear to have it between them, though there's still a long way to go. And it's Alan Moore and Gower Slave, Joltara the outside, Teton Mill just stalking them. Then Menasonic, who's beginning to run on again, and they're well clear of Stanmore and Marla. Down towards the last in the back straight then, and it's Joltara with the one white face, Teton Mill pulled out wide, absolutely coasting, and then Alan Moore driven along then from Gower Slave, the early front runner, and they're a long way ahead of Menasonic, and then a wider margin to Stanmore, and finally Marla. Down the side of the course then, towards the fourth last, taken slightly downhill, and it's Joel Tara, but Teton Mill moving menacingly on his outside. Joel Tara and Teton Mill, about four clear of Alan Moore. This is four out, and little to choose between the two leaders. Alan Moore landed third. Menasonic still running on in fourth place, having got outpaced at a fairly crucial stage. They swing the corner and racing towards the third last. Stan Moore's been pulled up. Marla pulled up and down towards three out. And Norman Williamson seems to have plenty of horse under him on Teton Mill, who gallops powerfully past Joel Tara now. And Norman looking round for dangers, and they appear non-existent, but still three fences to jump. Those are the biggest dangers. Here's three out. Teton Mill pops over safely. Joel Tara didn't get very high in second. Alan Moore is third. Menasonic still staying on, but probably not strongly enough certainly not to catch the leader. Teton Mill into second last. Again, met it with precision there, jumping very cleanly, ahead of Joel Tara in second. And the final fence then for Teton Mill, this former hunter chaser, like Coombe Mill, who won here two years ago. And Teton Mill is absolutely storming to victory here and looks a fine prospect for the months to come. It's Teton Mill who wins the Badger Beer Chase in a hack canter in second place. Sonic who stayed on well, then Joel Tara ahead of Alan Moore who didn't jump very cleanly and they appear to be the only four finishers in this handicap chase with a prize of £17,500 to the winner and that goes to the winning line who own Teton Mill, number three on the card, trained by Miss Venetia Williams and ridden by Norman Williamson who merely had to steer this nine-year-old in the right direction. Winner of the Horse and Hound Cup at the end of last season and has put up a splendid show today in this, his first handicap. He can surely go on to better... Mill returned at 4-1. to one. Second number five, Menasonic, the 3-1 to one favourite. And third number eight, Joltara, 10-1. to one. Non runner number two, 